Mr. Speaker, in the fall of 2000, Jack Dalgleish, a decent man and experienced financial auditor, was brought in to help with the Cabinet submission on the Crocus Fund. He warned the Premier and senior bureaucrats that the Crocus Fund was in big trouble and would likely fail in the next few years. It crashed in 2004, leaving tens of thousands of trusting investors stranded. The Premier, then Finance Minister, had continued to promote the fund, even in 2003, knowing full well it was about to crash. The media have a recording of this. I asked the Premier in 2003, why didn't he publicly notify Crocus investors that the NDP-supported Crocus Fund was in using new funds raised, Ponzi-style, to pay out exiting Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, the uh, item that the member raises relates to a request for an additional tax break to the Crocus Fund, which our government decided not to make available to the Crocus Fund. And uh, we make no apologies for not making another $10 million tax break available to the Crocus Fund, Mr. Speaker. Of course. Mr. Speaker, Jack Dalgleish warned the NDP government about Crocus. He paid the price with his career. The NDP demoted, intimidated, and warehoused him until he retired. This last summer, Mr. Dalgrish met Tim Sale by chance and then emailed him, copying some PCMLAs and myself, to share his story and the fact that the NDP government still hasn't fully acknowledged their culpability in the Crocus fiasco. I, I met with Jack and then organized a meeting between Jack and CBC's investigative team to ensure that Crocus investors knew the full story. I asked the Premier, why do you intimidate and punish whistleblowers of the NDP like you do Jack Dalgleish? Mr. Speaker, when, when the member had the opportunity to be in government at the federal level, there was no whistleblower protection legislation. When the members opposite, when the members opposite and the official uh, uh, opposition were in government, there was no whistleblower, whistleblower legislation. Under this government, I brought forward a bill for whistleblower legislation in Manitoba. That legislation gives full protection to anybody that wants to be a whistleblower in this province on a matter that they think is maladministration of the way we handle funds or any other matter in the government of Manitoba. They get protection, they get protection, and they have the right to go to the Ombudsman of Manitoba, and they have the right to remain anonymous. They have the right to remain anonymous and bring their complaints forward and have them fully investigated without any fear or favour of reprisal from any person. Order, please. Order, please. Mr. Speaker, uh, is the Minister Premier acknowledging you made a mistake? You know, Mr. Speaker, ethics are an essential part of good governance. Jack Dalgleish did the ethical thing and he warned the NDP about the looming crash of the Crocus Fund. His memo was referred to in the scathing Auditor General's report about Crocus. The Premier was the Minister of Finance during the NDP's Crocus fiasco. The Premier let the board take the fall for, for the uh, Crocus fiasco, just like he let Jack Dalgleish's career take the fall in a Crocus cover-up, and just like he let investors take the fall for the Crocus Ponzi scheme. I asked the Premier, what do you have to say today to Jack Dalgleish and the tens of thousands of Crocus Fund investors. Mr. Speaker, that was a, a long list of misinformation that the member from River Heights put on the record. This government refused additional tax breaks for the Crocus Fund, which would have cost all Manitobans up to $10 million. This government and myself as the lead brought forward whistleblower legislation in this province. That whistleblower legislation is available to individuals such as the member for River Heights mentioned. Any public employee, as well as members outside of the government that do business with the government, if they see any maladministration, any uh, fraud, any kind of negative activity with respect to government resources occurring, have the right to bring that complaint forward to the Ombudsman of Manitoba anonymously, without fear or favour. They can bring that complaint forward and it will be reviewed and investigated. This is the first government in the history of the Order, please. Order, please. 